On the eve of the 30th anniversary of the Loma Prieta quake, a new system is rolling out that could radically improve how you respond to earthquakes, including the big one. Night Beats Mark Sayer visited USGS tonight to show us how it's going to work. 30 years ago, nobody had any advance warning about the Loma Prieta quake, but technology and communications have changed. And starting tomorrow, an early warning system is coming to your phone. In 1989, the first sign that people had about an earthquake was when the ground started shaking. It's one of the scariest days of my life going through that earthquake. But tomorrow, the State Office of Emergency Services will roll out the MyShake app statewide, which could give valuable seconds of warning. With earthquake early warning rolling out, uh, you know, if you get an alert, then you can start to take action before the strong shaking hits. Earthquake early warning systems are listening for the very first signs of an earthquake, and that comes in what's called the P wave. That's the initial or primary wave of an earthquake and travels faster through the ground than the more damaging S waves. We have sensors spread throughout all of California, particularly in the Bay Area and the LA area. Not only will you get an alert with the app, but also on your phone, the same way Amber or other emergency alerts are issued now. I mean, a lot. I mean, if you can just get yourself into a, a doorway or something and stuff starts shaking so you know you have a jam around you or, or get under a table. Had this system existed in 1989, San Francisco and Oakland might have had about 10 seconds of early warning based upon the distance from the quake epicenter. How much notice you get really depends on how far you are away from the earthquake. The MyShake app has been in the testing phase for the past year, but it's already available for download. On the Nightbeat in Menlo Park, I'm Mark Sayer. And we've posted a MyShake tutorial online for that and instructions on how to set up the MyShake app. You can head to the web at kpix.com.